Commence the case of the people of France, this is Maximilian Robespierre, asking the question, was the reign of terror justified? Will the plaintiff please come forward? Thank you, Your Honor. Maximilian Robespierre is guilty of killing 40,000 political prisoners in his crusade, that is known as the reign of terror. He effectively eradicated almost all organized religion in all of France with this cult of the supreme being. In short, the ends did not justify the means. Maximilien Robespierre is not a leader, but a butcher. So, plaintiff, what is your sense of the Committee of Public Safety? Well, Your Honor, the so-called Committee of Public Safety was not that at all. It wasn't a democracy or a republic, but an oligarchy. It was a way for him to boost his own power and secure it while prosecuting all those who disagreed with him. So, plaintiff, based on that, what is your opinion of the Girondins and their opposition? Well, the Girondins had a lot of good, modern ideas, very revolutionary ideas, however, all their plans were squelched by Robespierre and his agenda. Okay. Now to the final question I'm going to ask you. What is your opinion of the guillotine? Well, the Reign of Terror has its name based on the guillotine. He used a lot of scare tactics and the guillotine to kind of force people to do what he wanted so they wouldn't get beheaded. But, uh, I think it has one more good use in it, if you know what I mean. Okay. Thank you for your time, plaintiff. You are dismissed. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, may the defense please stand. Your Honor, thank you for having me. My name is Maximilian Robespierre, and I was the leader of the Jacobin Club from the years 1790 to 1795 before my execution by the very people whom I liberated. And I would like to come into defense of my so-called reign of terror. First, let's point out some things that the plaintiff said and how they are completely and totally false. First, the plaintiff argued that I killed 40,000 people who were deemed political prisoners. First, the statistic is incorrect. It is more like 1,000 people. And second off, they were not political prisoners. They were legitimate criminals who had wronged France by being unloyal to the revolution and by trying to bring back an evil monarch. Next, he mentioned that my cult of the supreme being tried to wipe out religion in France. However, I argue that this is really a good thing. It is time that we totally and radically break from the old regime of the past and go towards a new regime that's held by the bourgeoisie class. And the way that we could do this is to get rid of the Catholic Church and look towards a more introspective religion, which I provided in my cult of the Supreme Being. So while there was some sacrifice necessary during my revolution, I ask you to realize that this sacrifice was 100% and totally valid, and the end most certainly justified the means. Rose Pierre, why do you think some citizens were unfaithful to your cause? This is an excellent question, Your Honor, and I will answer it very simply. First, I'm going to focus mostly on the Girondins, which is a very moderate political club. Unfortunately, they allied, instead of with the bourgeoisie, with the old regime. While they did support a constitutional monarchy, they did not support the republic that was necessary to bring France truly into power. And that was against what the bourgeoisie wanted, and what the working class and even the peasantry wanted. Therefore, there had to be some eggs broken to make the omelette, and the Girondins were just the ones. All right. That was a justified answer. Robespierre, what was the goal of the Committee of Public Safety? Well, the Committee of Public Safety was formed out of about seven men in order to get away from the political squabbles of the Jacobins versus the Girondins and even the Sans-Culottes in order to create real political change within France. And now we had two main missions. The first was to revitalize the economy of France in order to bring more prosperity to the bourgeoisie, the peasantry, and the working class. Secondly, we wanted to put a peaceful end to the war with Austria and Prussia specifically. They were coming closer and closer to Paris by the day, so we had to mobilize an army in order to really get them out. And we simply couldn't do this without the aid, without the aid of everybody involved. And that means the Girondins just had to go. Now for the final question, what is your opinion of the guillotine? Uh, it's, it's tragic that the guillotine had to come into play in our beautiful city of Paris. It's sad that we had to destroy any lives, however.
But there's one use left for it, and I just have to say that heads will roll. I have reached a verdict. The reign of terror was not justified because the murder did not lead to an increase in political, social, or economic prosperity of France. And as for the punishment of Routier, I say let them eat cake. And he doesn't get it. Sacre de <laughs> You organized the cult of the supreme being, effectively eradicating most organized religion in Europe, France. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Maximilian Robespierre... Are you done? 